Hi, everyone. Welcome. My name is Christy. I'm a librarian at the San Francisco Public Library. Wherever you're tuning in from, I'm so happy you're with us. Go ahead and pop in the chat where you're tuning in from. We love knowing where our audiences are from. And here is a little make do video to get us ready. So that's our make do trailer with music by Francis England, local musician here in San Francisco. Welcome to our second and a three part series with our friends from Book Arts Roadshow, who will be demonstrating how to make a Turkish map fold. Before we begin, we do want to acknowledge the land that we are on. We are on the unceded ancestral homeland of the Romatush Ohlone, who are the original inhabitants of the San Francisco Peninsula and continue to work, live, and play here today. As the indigenous stewards of this land and in accordance of their traditions, the Romatush Ohlone have never ceded, lost, nor forgotten their responsibilities as the caretakers of this place, as well as for all the people who reside in their traditional territory. We wish to pay our respects by acknowledging the ancestors, elders, and relatives of the Ramatush community and by affirming their sovereign rights as first peoples. And we want to make a special, we special welcome to all of our Ramatush Ohlone peoples who are with us today. As you know, our public programming from the San Francisco Public Library is in partnership and with generous support by the Friends of the San Francisco Public Library. We thank them for their generosity and we simply couldn't do it without them. Without further ado, let me welcome Book Arts Roadshow, which was co-founded by Cheryl Ball and C.K. Etta Murray. Mara, sorry, CK, provide, they provide book arts instruction and hands-on learning experiences for children, teens, and grown-ups. And we're so delighted that they said yes and coming back to work with us again. We love this series and you can you know that we are recording today's session. It'll be added to our growing catalog of videos, many by Book Arts Roadshow on our YouTube channel. With that, take it away, Book Arts Roadshow. <laughs> Hi, everybody. Hi, I'm everybody. Cheryl. <laughs> and we've got CK here as well. And I'm CK Tamura. And together, Cheryl and I are the Book Arts Roadshow. And um, we just want to say thank you so much to the San Francisco Public Library for inviting us to come back and do another make and do workshop. And also thank you to the friends of the San Francisco Library for making this series and others possible. Um, this session is being recorded and will be in the San Francisco Public Library YouTube channel library for you to be able to watch at any point in time after this video. All you have to do is go to the San Francisco Public Library YouTube channel and um, uh, do a search that little magnifying glass, go there and search on Book Arts Roadshow and you'll find all of our videos there. Today, we're gonna to be making um, a book called the Turkish Map Fold Book. Oh, I should mention um, the Book Arts Roadshow. Um, we're doing this workshop with the San Francisco Public Library. In the past, before COVID, we used to travel around the Bay Area, including at many of the San Francisco Public Libraries in person and we um, would do workshops in person. So we're delighted that we can come to you um, via a Zoom feed into YouTube. And hopefully at some point in the future, we'll be able to bring our workshops back into the branches again and meet you all in person. So thanks for joining us today. 
Um, Cheryl, should we go over tools? Yes, let's go over tools. Um, I'm going to show you on my overhead camera what we've got going here. Okay, so if you have a wooden spoon, a metal spoon, even a takeout spoon, um, you, you'll see why we use them. We use them to, to make our creases pretty sharp um, when we're folding. If you're a craftsperson, you might even have something that looks like this as a bone folder. It's actually made of cow bone. Um, if you don't have one of those, we love our spoons. Um, a pair of scissors. And the nice thing about scissors is you can actually use the back of your um, scissor handles as well to um, sharpen the creases when you're folding. Um, a pencil, a glue stick, and a ruler is what you'll need. And then as far as paper, we're, um, do you have, and Cheryl will show you the, the paper that we need. We're asking you to have four sheets of paper. Um, it could be colored, it could be all white, um, and they should be uh, square. So eight by eight inches is what we're using right now. So we'll use all four of them. And then we're asking also that you had some cardstock or just some heavier weight paper, um, eight and a half wide by four and a half inches tall. And two of them, because we're going to make two books for you. And Cheryl's gonna show you the samples of what we're making today. So a Turkish map fold book is a way to take a large sheet of paper and make a book page that's considerably smaller that can fit in your pocket. So if you envision how big maps can be, you can fold them down to a smaller size and make them handy to be able to keep in your pocket or your backpack or your purse or um, any other thing that you carry things around in. So this is a Turkish map fold book that just has one map page in it. And it looks like this. So you can see you've got a larger square that conveniently folds down into a smaller um, travel size map. And also that's a, that was a single page one. Then there's another version that we're gonna do today, which is same size as the first one I showed you, except for this one actually contains three maps. So it opens up like this. So that you have each section is a separate map. You've got one map there that closes down. You can open the second map. Oops. Second map opens up. And then you've got a third map that opens up all together in one little pocket size book. So we're going to make two of these today. Okay, let's see. I'm going to go over on overhead camera and Cheryl. Then I'm going to give the instructions. Walk us through how to make them. So what we're going to do, um, first of all, is to grab your square sheets of paper. We're going to fold them each one at a time, and then we'll assemble the books um, after we've done folding. So Cheryl's going to choose one of her squares. The yellow one. <laughs> it's always the, the hardest one. thing is to choose the color that you're going to use for the day. <laughs> okay, so what Cheryl's going to do is she's going to take one corner from the top or bottom, it doesn't matter, and then fold it in a di fold the square in a diagonal. So She's gonna do a diagonal fold so that she makes a square into a triangle. And she's gonna fold it, match all the corners, as the three corners as best she can. And she's gonna take her spoon, when I watch what Cheryl does, she made a little crease in the middle and then she's rubbing her spoon to the left and to the right. Um, and you'll see why it's so important to have um, sharp creases in a second. So then she's gonna open that up and she's gonna take the opposite corner 
and then fold it in a diagonal so that she's creating another triangle. So there should, when she's all done, there'll be an X in the middle, but see how she creases the middle and then she goes to the right and then to the left, making her creases pretty sharp. She's gonna open the paper up and then flip the paper over so that the, yes, so that the, it's kind of a mountain fold. And when we say mountain fold is the, the fold is facing up towards you. So now what you're gonna do, she's gonna do is take two of the corners and match them to the top corners and just fold the square in half. And don't worry if you're not catching this, we're gonna do this like three more times. <laughs> Again in the middle, and she's using her spoon to go to the right and then to the left. <clears throat> so now you should have something that's all um, folded. And I have something that looks like that too. And what happens is she's gonna show you how from that fold, the pages all just want to come together. So Cheryl's going to flip it over and then see how the, and she's going to have the, the straight fold, the half fold, sorry. Those each side come together. And then she's going to smash it down. It looks like a, then it's a triangle. And she's gonna take her spoon and smooth out this and sharpen the sides. So you should have some a triangle that looks like this. It looks like that. Cheryl, can you show them the open side just to show them what it looks like? So that's what your, your triangle looks like. Now grab your pencil. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna make a little mark, just a teeny tiny mark in the middle down at the bottom in the center of the triangle at the bottom. I'm using a Sharpie just so that our viewers at home can actually see the yeah. little mark I'm making. There we go. Which okay, you and, and you can do it on the other side as well before we get started folding. So you're gonna want to know exactly where the center is. And if you're using a pencil, you can always erase it later. Okay, so what you're, she's gonna do is take one of the little corners from the side and just fold it to that middle mark. There she goes. And then she's gonna use her, her spoon and then on the other flap to the left, she's gonna do the same thing. She's gonna bring it towards the middle. Spoon it down. And so it kind of looks like you got a little house that wants to hug you. <laughs> okay, turn it, flip it over. And then you're going to do the same thing with the flaps. Bring the flap to the right, to the middle. Spoon it down and then take the left corner, bring it to the middle, fold it, crease it really well. And what's going to happen is you, it looks like you have a house now with flaps on both sides. Cheryl, I'm just gonna show them really quickly by marking mine what, what the square looks like. So here's the little house. I've pulled one of my flaps out and I just wanna show you what it looks like. And I've marked it with Sharpie. So there's three different lines going on right there. Cheryl's marking hers. You don't have to mark yours. We're just marking it so that you can get an idea of um, where you're gonna fold next. So. 
Yes, pay no attention to the marks that I'm making right now. So what's happening is you have this little triangle and what you're gonna do is you're gonna push this diagonal line in and then you're going to, so I've pushed it inside, so I've inverted the triangle. And then it now looks like this on this side. So now I'm missing the little flap. Okay. So I'm going from here. I'm to opening open. up one. And then I'm sticking my thumb inside here. Mm -hmm. I'm sticking my thumb right there. And I'm actually pinching it like that. And then I'm going to take this part I'm pinching and I'm pushing it inside. So now originally, I'm just going to mark it one more time. So originally there was this part here. So everyone stop that. I have this little part here. And then you're going to make it disappear. Put my thumb inside there. And then I pushed it inside like that. And now it's it's inside instead of on the outside. And what's really great is it, it, it went in easily because Cheryl's um, creases were really sharp. And you're just, you're gonna repeat that on all your little corners. Cheryl's gonna open it up and pinch it with her finger. Like and then push inside, it in. Pinch and push it in. Taking yeah, and always that. using her spoon, or you can even use your glue stick if you if you don't have anything round and flat. So now you should have something that looks like a house with no flaps on the outside. Okay. And Oh, she's got one, two more to go. Open. She pinches it. And then she pushes in that diagonal. And it just tucks right in there. And one more side. Open and then pinch and push it in and use your spoon. <laughs> yeah. All right, so now look at what you have. You have a Turkish map fold, ta-da. And you could do this with any square sheet of paper. You can cut out a square from a magazine page as well um, if you want some decoration, but we're just showing you how to do it with plain paper and once you assemble it, you can probably um, draw pictures in it or paint in it or make little stories in it. Okay, so congratulations, you have your first one. Now we have three more to go. So grab another sheet of paper, fold it diagonally. Make sure that you match your corners as best you can. And sometimes it takes me a couple tries to make sure that they match. Crease in the middle down below and then take your um, spoon and go from left to right. You're gonna open that up and then make a diagonal going the opposite way. And then she's gonna open it up, flip the paper over and then she's gonna fold it in half. The reason um, Cheryl does marks the um, crease, starts the little fold in the center is that if, she, if you try to do it from one edge to the other, it might not be straight, so. And there she goes, she pushes it in and watch the two sides come together and they make a triangle, just fold it down. OK, 
Okay. And then mark the center. And then she's gonna fold one of the corners over to the center. And then the other corner to meet, looks like it, yeah, there you go. And then flipping it over and then doing the same thing. So left or the right tip to the middle, sharpening the corners. It almost looks like she's folding a paper napkin. <laughs> okay, there you go. Okay, now you have two, um, two tr triangles on each side that flap. And now Cheryl's going to um, show you. You open one flap up, you put your thumb through or underneath, she's going to pinch it and then push that diagonal line, that diagonal fold in on itself. So she's inverting it, sharpening the crease, doing the other side, pinch, push in to invert it, and then sharpen the crease. Now you've got one side of a house, flip it over. And then and in case somebody was out of the room while I was explaining why I'm drawing these lines on it, it's just simply so that you could see which part of the paper I'm folding in. So um, but you, no need to mark it like you don't, she need, does. <laughs> you don't need to draw the lines at home if you have. That's okay because you just made some cool design on your paper, but it's not necessary. So open the flap. She's gonna stick her thumb inside and then pinch with her forefinger and then push in and sharpening the crease again. And because her creases are so sharp, it's easy for Cheryl to pinch and then push in on that diagonal. See how easily it, it folds in. And there you go. So she's got number number two, two so of her Turkish map fold. Okay. Diagonal fold. And then opposite side. Sharpen your crease always. The spoon works way better than just my finger. Yeah. And then open it and flip it over. Oh, sorry, I'm a little bit ahead. And in case you're just joining us, the reason why we're doing this so many times, we're doing a total of four of these map folds is because we're going to make us we're going to use one of them to make a one page Turkish map fold book and we're going to use three of them to make a three page Turkish map fold book. And it's also muscle memory. <laughs> you'll, you'll remember how to do this fold again. And if four times isn't enough for you, feel free to rewind the video if you're watching the recorded version of this and watch it as many times as you like. So I'm just marking up my piece of paper so you can see the folds. And there you go. Cheryl's made her triangle. I'm gonna mark the middle so that she knows where to fold her um, tips into. And then folding the other side in. And when Cheryl's bringing the tips over, she's trying to match the bottom edges of the paper with each other so that there's no overhang or anything like that.
And Cheryl, after you fold that, um, this um, invert the one tip, can you show them what it looks like with the, with the drawings on the inside? Oh, so okay. you see the drawings that she's marked on the outside, she's gonna pinch and then she's gonna push in. And then look at the design so you can tell, so it's the patterns meeting each other on the inside. There you go. Okay, left side, pinch, push in on the diagonal. And now all the design is on the inside or the markings are on the inside. There you go. And then flip it over and then repeat on the two tips. Cheryl's fast with the marker. <laughs> okay, open. Oh, I'm sorry. If you hear me calling CK Cheryl, it's because we actually both are named Cheryl, but she goes by CK and I go by Cheryl. <laughs> okay. And then left tip, you're going to put your thumb in there, pinch, and then push. And there you go. Crease your, sharpen your creases. And that should be number three, correct, Cheryl? This is number three. This one is number three. You got three so far. You got one more to go. Okay. Purple, fold in a diagonal. Crease in the middle, and then she's going to use her little spoon to sharpen the creases. Open and then do it on the other side. Okay, open it up and then flip it over, and you're going to fold this the paper in half. Sharpen the creases. And then open it up and push and see the two sides come together. And Cheryl's so good with using her spoon to sharpen her creases. There you go. Mark in the middle on both sides so you know where to bring your tips into. Fold one tip towards the middle, making sure the bottom edges of the paper meet. <laughs> Sharpen that crease and bring the other one over. And she's gonna mark it so that you know where to fold and crease. Okay, pinch, you're gonna put your thumb in, pinch and then push in on the diagonal line. Sharpen that crease. And then do it repeat on the other side. Ooh, last side. Last side. So she's getting ready to show you last pair of inverted 
triangles. Now you have you should have four triangles in front of you or one. little houses, right, Cheryl? Yeah. So we've got this is one, two, three, and four. Yay. Now set those aside for a second. And then you have these two sheets of rectangular paper. The eight and, a, um, eight and a half by four and a half sheets. So what you're gonna do first step is you're gonna take, um, have a rectangular, whichever way is comfortable for you, but you're gonna fold that paper in half. So the long way, yeah. So there you go. You're gonna make a smaller rectangle. So this paper is a little bit, um, thicker so it takes a little bit more finesse to like match your corners and then sharpen the creases and open and then take the other sheet and you're going to do the same thing you're going to fold it in half so these are your two covers and I'm pushing down pretty hard on this because I'm using um, thick paper called cover stock. Mm -hmm. so I'm having to, I'm getting a good workout right now because I'm pushing down really hard to make the crease nice and sharp. And something that you could use is um, cover stock instead is, you know, the postcards that you get in the mail, <laughs> the advertisements, you can use those too. That's the kind of weight that Cheryl's um, folding in half. Okay. So open it up. And what you're going to do is you're going to take your ruler and from the very top of the paper or one side of the paper, you're going to make a mark in the fold in that crease. You're going to make a mark of two and a, two and a quarter. Oops. I'm going to use a Sharpie. So I've got my crease right here and I just measured two and a quarter inches down. To right. Here. And then she's going to do it to the other sheet as well. And you'll see why. Okay. So taking that one, take one triangle, one of your little, um, one of your little folded maps. And here's where you need to get waste paper. So paper that you don't care about getting glue on because you don't want to get glue on your table or on the other sheets before you need to. And I'm just using an old scrap piece of paper that I've used for gluing before where you can use the old newspaper or a sheet out of an old magazine. I use um, the, the mailers that come <laughs> now that Thanksgiving's over. I'm using these. Or a piece of a grocery shopping bag. Yeah. Okay. So she's going to take the, the Turkish map fold that she's already done. She's going to put it on her waist sheet and then take her glue stick. And she's just going to run glue along the edges and maybe do an X in the middle. Because we don't, you don't need to glue the whole sheet and you want to conserve glue stick. It gets less messy that way too. And you prolong the use of your glue stick. So she's going along the edges and then she's going to go along the edge, the open edge, and then maybe make a little cross or something, an X. There she goes. And then she's going to pick that up off the waste sheet. And the little tip is what she's, she's going to put the glue side down on one side of the cover, but putting the tip at the, the mark that she made in the middle. So there she goes. 
and I'm putting it so that I have about the same amount of space on this side, this side, and on the edge, and this side. And then she might, you might want to take her, your spoon. And then, so when you, when you rub down paper, that's been, that has glue on it to another piece of paper, what it does is it activates the glue so that it really forms a bond. Okay. And then she's going to take her glue stick and very carefully this time, because <laughs> she doesn't have her waste sheet, she's going to go along the edges again. and then uh, along the edge. And then she's gonna make a little X. And then she's gonna close the other side of the cover onto, onto this. So see how she has her hands? She's folding it over. And then she's gonna rub it with her hands and then her spoon. And watch the magic happen. She's gonna open it and ta-da! I know somebody who uses this structure to make um, birthday cards and, um, to, and to write to their pen pal. So it's kind of fun. Could be a, a monster's mouth even. <laughs> Yay! All right, so. You've completed one Turkish map fold book and you've got three more um, little um, structures. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna get your waste sheet of paper and you're gonna put glue on two of them first. I'm going around the edge, just like we did on the other one. Just around the edges. And then making an X. And then what she's gonna do is she's gonna take one of them and then place it on top of the one that with the glue on it. So she's gonna flip it down and line it up. As best she can. <laughs> Oh, it's a little crooked, but the glue still wet. So I just pulled them apart again. And you hadn't pushed down on it yet either. Yeah. So okay, now, there you go. Now it's good. And she's activating the glue and then she's gonna put glue on that side and then put the third Turkish map fold on top. Take her glue. And then do an X and carefully, she's gonna get her third Turkish map fold and carefully put it on top and line it up. And put it down. There you go. And then the last step to complete your second book, you're gonna glue two more sides. So that side facing up, Cheryl's gonna see, notice how Cheryl moved her um, map fold down on the paper because there was a little bit of glue on the top of her um, sheet. So she's just moving it down or you can fold it over either way. Okay. So putting glue on the edges and then do an X. And she's gonna take her cover at this point and then she's gonna match the point with the center. She's gonna flip it over so that the glue side goes down inside the cover, matching up the little point of the fold to that mark, the halfway mark on your book. And she's making sure it's straight in there with equal um, spacing around it. 
and she's gonna push it down with her hands first. And then taking her spoon. And then she's going to carefully <laughs> take her glue stick and then um, glue the edges of this, the last um, Turkish map fold. And then on the edge of the open side and then do an X. And then she's gonna take the cover, the right hand side of the cover and she's gonna fold it over onto the Turkish map fold, smoothing it out with the spoon. And then watch the magic happen again. <laughs> So you've got page one or map fold one, there's two, and then there's three. So lots of possibilities on what you can do and, and where you can decorate. <laughs> Congratulations, everybody. So you've made two books, a single map, Turkish map fold and then a multiple page. So. You can keep going, you can add more than three, but we just figured we had time to, for you to fold four of them. And we'd love to see what you make. So. <laughs> yay. 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 Share pictures with us. Thank you so much for having us. We Wow, CK and Cheryl. Oh my gosh, you're just, you're magicians. <laughs> it's so fun and so relaxing to watch you work. It's so inspiring. Thank you so much for giving us some new ideas to make book art designs on our own. Thank you and, so much. For oh, it's us. such a pleasure. Just a reminder, everyone, that this program is being recorded. It is available now on our YouTube page, as well as many of our past wonderful programs with this fabulous team. So check it out. We'd love to see your Turkish, Turkish map fold. So tag us on social at SF Public Library and use the hashtag SFBL make and do. Be sure to share this with all your friends and tune in next week. Uh, Cheryl and CK, do you want to tell us what's coming up next week? Yeah, so next week we'll be making a book called An Exquisite Corpse Book and showing you different ways that you can use that. Doesn't that sound cool? Again, we will record that program so you can watch it again and again. And we invite you, Cheryl and CK have done so many cool things. They have a very happening Instagram account. So highly recommend that you follow them on Instagram and also sign up for their newsletter. They have great ideas and stay connected to their fantastic work. So thanks everyone for joining us today. Take care of yourselves and tune in again soon. Bye, everyone. Bye. Bye. See you later. <laughs> Yay. Bravo.